Welcome to the big board. Here we go. I've not filmed live for you uh, any of my series of after action reports for the Second Punic War using the SPQR series, a game from GMT. It's a great little game, and I'm using the Simple Great Battles of History rules, and we use. Uh, edited uh, formation lists and things like that that allow us to uh, play a much faster game without losing any of the, the flavor at all of the scenario. And this is the third last battle of the Great Battles of History Second Punic War. That was I think in issue 10 of C3I. And what we've got here is our uh, erstwhile Scipio there he is. And this is his first, I think, I believe it's his first battle in Africa. It's the Great Plains, Battle of the Great Plains. A little intrigue, he has uh, Masinissa here, who uh, he bribed and cajoled and forced to fight with him and work with him. And Masinissa actually ended up... Uh, convincing his wife to commit suicide to avoid the justice or the retribution of the Romans. So we've got a somewhat outnumbered Roman army. The first and the third legion and cavalry. And but the hapless I always think Hasdrubal Gizgo is hapless for some reason. But he has really not a whole lot going for him. He's got a weak right flank with these uh, Carthaginian levies. He only has three heavy cab over here. His center is great. We've got all these nice Iberian mercenaries with eight TQs, true quality, and then pretty tough uh, North African heavy troops, and then we start to fade away real quick with the uh, Numidian light infantry and medium infantry, and then uh, some nice cam on the wings here. The, the reserve line is equally weak. So, historically, Scipio won this battle, and he leveraged the Triarii as an actual firing force as opposed to a reserve force. And that's why they're going to have a movement of five this this scenario. And we're going to do some fun stuff with them. So I've actually got three lines of uh, infantry to play with, including the Velites up here. Four, I mean four, including the Velites. We have uh, victory conditions are 105 route points for the Romans and 90 for the Carthaginians. So somewhat of a deficit. But Pardon the shadow. As part of the exercise with this Second Punic War, we get to bid some uh, route points. And so we're going to do that. This is a pretty critical battle for both of the armies. And the Carthaginians really need to win this to pull out, uh, pull out, all, the pull out all the stops. They'll pick up if they win. They're going to pick up 20 route points they can use in the next battle, which is Serta. And the final is Zama. Final battle is Zama. So I, I, the, the Carthaginians really need to win this because they're, uh, they're behind the eight ball. And the Romans have uh, a stack of route points they can actually use as well. So I've got to work out how I'm going to bid that equitably without being too biased. So we'll do that. And then uh, I'm going to do this in stop motion. So I'll be taking a photograph for every... Um, every second or so, and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to pop you down, and we'll talk to you soon.